Ladies and gentlemen, comrades and friends, welcome to the week with me, Comrade Fatso. And what a week it's been. Parliament opened this week and what was one of the main topics? Ice cream. Yes, when Parliament went on a 15-minute break just before Mugabe's speech, the MDCT MP Prosper Mutsayami asked if they could have ice cream from Bushungo Dairies as refreshments. I mean, with MPs like these, who need stand-up comedians? Our tweet of the week? Well, it's a tie. When Kwesa TV won their right to broadcast over the last week, the Minister of Local Government, Sedia Kwasukwere, a mythically and mystically tweeted Kwese Kwese. Coincidence? I think not. He ties with none other than the master of marvelous and unbelievable statements, Psychology Maziwisa, who tweeted, In terms of genuine economic empowerment and freedom, Zimbabwe is the envy of the world. Which world are you talking about, comrade? Maybe food world? For some reason, it's Mzansi bashing season. Yes, comrades, we are attacking South Africa again. President Mugabe came out guns blazing, going after the memory of Mandela, saying that Mandela was to blame that in South Africa, everything's in white's hands. ANC's Gwede Mantashe came back with, President Mugabe cannot insult us. We don't research their crisis. We meet it on the streets. Ish. That's basically like saying, if your shit is so good, why are your people over her? Bob retorts with, and uh, what, what do they call him, Bredema? Stupidly reacted. And the, I can't even remember your name and you're stupid. What's going on, comrades? We share so much in common. Our struggle history, our shared love of Burovos and Castle, your use of our players for the Springboks, our export of our people to you. Plus, you guys are doing so well with your corruption these days. Eh? I mean, you're really learning from us, eh? Voter registration is finally here, or is it? Zek announced that nationwide voter registration would roll out on September 14th. Then they clarified that statement after realizing they only had enough BVR kits to register half of Rombotombo growth point. Yes, Zek all of a sudden realized that we only had 400 out of the 3,000 BVR kits needed for the national process. In layman's terms, that's basically five beers short of a six-pack. Voter registration got off to a chaotic start on 14th of September, and apparently it actually starts, starts in mid-October. Zek head Rita Makarao said the nationwide blitz would start mid-October <laughs> when they've got enough kits. Uh, so, until then, expect some light drizzle and appearances of voter registration. In our competition today, we ask what does BVR stand for? Does it stand for A. Beneficial Voter Redistribution B. Biometric Voter Registration or C. Bronco Vodka Red Bull BVR actually stands for Biometric Voter Registration and we should all know that because as the youth is, we should know that the future lies in our hands. And for us to make a change in this country, we need to register to vote. So comrades, register to vote, please. Many of you supported our hashtag Save Motor Republic campaign earlier this year. To update you, based on our agreement with the City Council, we've proceeded to remove the top container and we've also submitted plans to modify the structures. We've made every effort to comply with City Council requirements. Follow Motor Republic on Twitter for updates as we approach the 30th September deadline. We will need your support. I've heard of many donations in my time. You know, donate to this orphanage, donate to this school, but I think I heard the best one ever this week. Apparently, MDCT MP Tabitha Kumalo donated her Bloyo East seat to David Coltart. So generous, eh? This Christmas, I'm thinking of asking for a small gift of a new Zimbabwe. Please, I've been a good boy. Thanks for joining us on the week. Follow Magama TV on social media. I've been Comrade Fatso. You have been the people. This has been the week. Thank you and foot set